Hi everybody, this welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is going to be your romance reading for September. I hope you are well and safe, and I, a lot of holidays are over now, and the kids are back to school, so I suggest grab a cuppa and listen to your video. I have made the romance videos beforehand, um, but I've had some issues with the computer, so the computer will be taken away uh, or going to the menders uh, for a couple of days. So the romance readings will be done one by one because I had already done a lot, and the generals will be uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and then Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and I will be putting in the timestamps, so please bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, um, I, I can't do anything about it. Take care, and uh, please share and like with everybody, of course, and sorry I won't be able to go live this week, and also, I hope you enjoy the videos, and if you're new, then welcome, please sub and uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be informed remember to hit it on all otherwise you will block it out and also look at your settings in your mobile apparate apparatus okay take care enjoy the video let's go to the video ciao ciao hi Scorpio this is your romance reading for September 2020 and I hope you will enjoy it I'm using the Tarot of the Kingdoms. Okay, there is a review out, so if you would like to see more of the cards, then have a look in the playlists um, under um, Reviews and Collaborations. Sorry about that. I'll just have to put it a bit aside there. Put that there. Sorry about that. Then you can see the cards more clearly. Okay. And your first card is the soulmate card. Yes, this is your soulmate. So you, if you're not hooked up, then you might be meeting a new person. That is your soulmate. It's preordained. And if you are hooked up, then you have your soulmate. Awesome. And these cards are so beautiful. They are vibrant that the colors jump off the card. And really, they're amazing. You see so much in these cards. And you have the Ten of Fire. You've been through a heavy period. But you, you've come to the end now. And it's been a long, whiny road. And you might feel that you are stuck at the moment because you don't know what uh, to do because there could be a lot of new beginnings love action like new job uh, perhaps new communication because we've got blue and yellow here I see more in the cards than or I see things differently than what they really mean but the road is always whining up and down we go through difficult times what goes up must come down so then we are on a down period then we go up we're on a good period but now you will be on the up and ready for this new start perhaps a new love perhaps a new passion I am um, look at the dawn rising a new beginning it's beautiful this card has the borderline of the fire signs um, so there is a lot of action creativity logic will be playing part of it remember we are in a Virgo energy so have a look at the Virgo energy video and because we are in a slower and a steadier uh, energy and uh, also in the energy that if we do something it and uh, we start something new it, it will be with durability and for long term so this could be a new job um, if you've been out of a job because you've been active you've been logic about it you've been strategic about it and you're up uh, where there is a 10 the the 10 is an ending and where there is an ending there's a new beginning 
okay because the 10 becomes a 1 in numerology now you've got the universe the universe there's only two cards in the deck and one of them is uh, the spirit and the other one is the universe and the universe means um, that you you are one you are one bit of the universe of it all and things are coming together again this card is really beautiful this is planet earth that you can see and this is the uh, sky that rep could represent water as well but you are floating in this is you and you are floating in the lotus flower which means um, that you are in the liminal part of your physical universe so you're in your little own little world and you've got the moon here you've got the earth the moon and this is like the the flow this is like the ambiguous a chord or I don't um, what you call it it's the chord that it, the baby is attached to its mother so this is just representing um, you that you are connected to earth or to other planets you have to see yourself as one of a planet you are in charge of yourself your own planet um, so this could is also depicting a new start you can do whatever you wish you can be uh, in charge of the planet or you can be in charge of yourself it's rather a beautiful card you don't have to do it if you don't want to the physical universe just wanted you to know that there that there's that how that's how life happens for planets and stars too first it's the soul that is created then it finds its form so after this heavy period there will be a new beginning and you are seeking um, your new form your new path seeing things from a deeper and bigger perspective because she's looking down on the earth and the universe and this will get you to think and take action and step by step because you can't run before you can walk just ask yourself what do I want to do what do I have to observe to make a new plan to this new beginning this is yeah I know it sounds really weird but this this whole deck is like a fairy tale it is fantastic it's really deep it's psychedelic because of its colors and yet it is sober you can take it many ways so meditate contemplate and think about you what you would like to happen now in this new start do you want to have a different job? Do you want to have a different house? Um, what are you going to go for? What are your goals? What is it that you want? Do you want a new love if you're not hooked up? If you are hooked up, then uh, see how you can evolve within the relationship and what you would like out of this relationship okay you don't want heavy times perhaps you have had a heavy time in this relationship and you are still in this relationship but what road are you going to have remember friendships relationships partnerships life in general has its ups and downs and if you are meeting a new person this could be the one you've already met this romantic partner that you seek but with perhaps they weren't ready and that's why you went through this heavy period perhaps you uh, didn't um, connect at that time and now that you have started this new thing and got a deeper insight into yourself and the world around you perhaps you are ready now to st start this relationship with this person that you've met because you feel that you are connected together on this planet earth there is uh, the a, 
abin I can't say that word abinical cord the cord the 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 cord that is between the mother and the child so this is you and you've got this ambiguous cord connected to the earth and everything that's happening on it and there's one specific person that you've met somehow or rather you are connected and you feel it they're your soulmate now I'm taking this card let your inner child come out playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine perhaps you were in in strife and you were let's say uh, let's hypothetically um, they were still engaged in a relationship but now something in their life has changed and uh, now they're free to join you because you are soulmates perhaps you were attached and now you're finally free from the old because 10 is a finish and a new beginning and now you're going to see what you want and what you can do and create your own little world your own planet and you, perhaps you want to be more playful perhaps you just want passion and not love or you want first passion that will grow into something sustainable because you have a lot of fire here a lot of orange okay so that is action passion and passion doesn't last but I think you want something sustainable and something for a long time so there could be a fire sign because that has left and you might be meeting up with an earth sign and this is steady durability long term the ground is fertile as you have the Queen of Earth and she's already ready to birth this new beginning so there is definitely a new big beginning and you are the one that's going to take action and do it and decide what you want the ground is fertile the Queen of Pentacles is Mother Earth she also represents a uh, Virgo so you could be meeting up with a Virgo but don't exclude Capricorn or Taurus they are slow and steady and you have water so you are compare you are compatible with each other because earth needs water for the seeds to flourish and grow and that is what the Queen of Pentacles actually does she's got green fingers that's why she's depicted in green she's one with nature she sows seeds and she nurtures them so she watches them grow and protects them and then they come to harvest and blossoming or blossoming and then to harvest so if you've had taken your time out in your little world to make this new start you have planted seeds as to know that you know what you want and you you've planted seeds and it's taken time to grow and you're letting your inner child come out and have fun so that you can take care of yourself again to grow and mature to get this new relationship off the ground and this and then take it steady and slowly so that you are sure that what you are doing is towards your dream and your goal this could involve a marriage so you might be getting married if you're not married and perhaps I'm hearing for some you might be getting remarried to the same person just to celebrate life and to celebrate that you are together the soulmates Wow or you could be invited to a wedding where you will meet an earth sign you've also got the five of earth I think yes five of earth and here it is depicted and I'm seeing a bent tree you might be feeling out of whack not in balance so with this bent tree I say bend be more flexible otherwise you will break and you don't want to break five of earth is the five of pentacles so you might feel left out at the moment if you're not hooked up and if you are hooked up it could be that your partner is busy with their own thing 
they might feel uh, they are also out of balance so get the communication going talk with each other so get the balance back Scorpio it is highlighted as well I mean I just see light blue around this tree so ask the universe to help you ask the angels in the traditional tarot you see the church window and to me this emphasizes the angelic light so ask the angels to help you and get out of your head and don't be too shy to ask for help if you need to perhaps to get a blind date to go to this wedding or a celebration and get to know people mingle get out of your little shell my Scorpio and get yourself back in balance because you have sown seeds already within yourself like what you want and what you uh, need um, you know perhaps you think you might need something and it's not the right thing so ask for help don't be too scared to ask for help perhaps you have to reset because this is resetting this is finished and you're resetting you've got the reset button in the second week of September because you want to have a new soulmate and you know who it is you've met be again but perhaps you cannot or you are too shy to connect with these people so ask for help let the inner playful child come out let it be birthed because the queen of earth also means not only fertility but birth birth of a child birth of an idea birth of an of a new project actually putting an idea into physicality material material because this is material stuff you can touch it okay and it has durability so long you believe so go for it well I did not sort out these cards my darlings and remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you or it's too off the off the trolley for you I'm sorry but it it is basically listen to your intuition go deeper think deeper look at the big picture not at just what is in front of you but more give it more room look at yourself and what you want to build you might feel out of balance but ask help like a mother figure or a mature woman that you respect then we've got TLC for the soul now look at that that's the Queen of Pentacles at work at its ultimate blossoming so you're about to harvest the fields of forgiveness yes forgive yourself you're looking back don't forgive yourself turn round look at the new beginning as your journey past resentment as you journey past resentment now and then stopping only to recognize its desolated surroundings decide you no longer want to linger on the bumpy road and disappointment bumpy road a new way of living will emerge one that is full of surprises and perfectly timed synchronicities set your ba burdens down okay give it over to the universe and the angels let go of what delays your progress and welcome in the exchange the tender but stable roots of new beginnings enter the field of forgiveness whether enchantment uh, where enchantment waits you when I see this I want to go for a picnic love it if you believe yes if you believe you can do it you're strong enough definitely 
you've got the power you remember you are one little being of the universe we are all interconnected ask for help from others if you can't get out of your head or out of the situation you're at now you will be forming a partnership because you have the ring this could be in love definitely as we've got the wedding card as well or in business but this is a romance reading so I'm take, taking it for a relationship you're forming a new partnership you, you might be moving in together you've got the ring and you've also got the ace of clubs which is the ace of wands action passion like I said you've got a lot of orange so this could be passion but do you want just passion because passion won't last you'll burn out okay so take it steady and slowly so that it will have durability get to know each other by talking with each other doing things together with fun action going out seeing sightseeing or having dinner new beginnings could be with a fire sign a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo as the ones are fire you've got 25 which is 7 so that is good luck luck is on your side the angels and the universe are on your side Wow you will have your soulmate you have already met each other but let your inner child come out you've done with the heavy stuff let go okay you've got the magician Wow new beginnings you've got all the elements talents gifts knowledge uh, uh, you know how to get into action you've got passion you've also got love make it happen but be clear be transparent don't hide anything and definitely not on a first date don't go on about what happened let it go it's past okay new beginning is here for you big time okay take care and I love you all and please share and like and if you're new welcome to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell on all and I hope to see you in the life if not in the next video weekly or the romance Ciao ciao my darlings